in time, but let's say someone is walking to work, school, or commuting every day. And they're observing the same, observing <laughs> the same environments, but that's not, you know, but there's nothing really there for them to be awed by, or nothing there that's unique. And maybe uh, there has been, but they're they're now desensitized by it. What kind of impact would you say that this experience that many of us uh, live has on us? Yeah, that's a that's a good one. You know, that's that's the thing that inspires <laughs> me to talk about talk mm-hmm. about this work because I feel like those experiences are uh, soul sucking in some way. You know? yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For sure, yeah. The daily commute, everyone loves it. <laughs> yeah. Right? the same place that doesn't change or like it's very boring and Mm -hmm. not cognitively enriching we use that term before Mm -hmm. Um, i think those environments those experiences do have an impact on us in a negative way and research is now starting to show that they actually do Um, Mm -hmm. certain um, elements of of design that you see in modern cities for example um, are associated with worse mental health in inhabitants. There's a study mm-hmm. recently that, that showed that certain characteristics of, of neighborhoods are associated with certain uh, symptom clusters, like feelings of fatigue, loneliness, depressed mood. They do correlate with environmental design. Yeah. Really interesting. Yeah. Sometimes um, you're like walking through cities and you're like, why? why does this place make me want to cry? Like, why do our cities make us so sad? <laughs> I'm like, what the heck? Yeah, yeah. I have those expensive parking lots. You know, when you're crossing. Oh my gosh, yeah. Uh, 